What's up, y'all? This is Osiris, the PC Pimp, and today I got some Steam news to, for you today. We're going to talk about the Steam FPS counter. Thanks to Atomic, uh, he pointed out that there is a Steam FPS counter now. Um, to get this FPS counter, first of all, you have to be in the beta. Uh, so, first, first join the beta, and then once you've joined the beta, uh, all you have to do is go to Steam, Settings, In-Game, then choose where you want the FPS counter to be, top left, top right, bottom right, or bottom left of your screen. Once you've chosen that, you can check high contrast color to make the color of the font green. If you do not choose it, it will be gray as you will see in the videos that I will show you. Uh, so that's all you have to really do to get the FPS counter enabled. Now as you can see here, this is Borderlands 2 and uh, the FPS counter is enabled in the game. Uh, it looks like in most games that I've tried that the FPS counter kind of just works. It, it does have a little glitch here and there, but you got to remember this is still beta. It's not officially released. Um, so like for example, when I was in Civilization 5 and it was sitting at the loading screen, the counter disappeared for a moment, maybe about a... I don't know a second or two no big deal it seemed to work perfectly fine in the game but as you can see uh, here in Borderlands the the font color is like a dark grayish color with a uh, transparent black background uh, and in some games that may work and some games that may not work so of course you can always um, choose to make it high contrast which will turn that font from gray to black uh, which is uh, pretty easy to change depending on which game you're you're using or playing actually and I think this is a welcome addition as most of them are to the steam uh, set of features I mean th this will allow you to make sure that you're getting the, the, the performance that you think that you should be getting based on your system specifications like your CPU and your graphics car graphics card uh, or performance you're not getting so that you can troubleshoot and see if you need to turn off some features, some video features, or turn on some video features. Uh, as you can see, I tried it in Borderlands 2, Metro Last Light, Civilization 5, Wasteland 2, and to my dismay, most of the games were not getting the performance that I thought I should be getting. Especially if you consider that I'm running an i5 3570K and a NVIDIA GTX 780. So, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, that Steam has a new feature. If you want to opt into the beta to use this feature, you should go ahead and do that. Keep in mind that the Steam beta has quite a few more updates to the actual Steam client than the normal Steam client does. Uh, so th th that's it for today. Go ahead and uh, hit them dislikes and them likes, however you might be feeling today, depending on the weather. And subscribe for more. Linux Steam Gaming Content.